Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and I'm going to review this CDF or cumulative distribution function in Minitab. So I'm going to use this binomial probability that says a recent survey by the Roller Coaster Club of America found that 40% of people who ride roller coasters are actually afraid of heights. So if we take a sample of 20 people who ride roller coasters, what's the probability that more than 9, fewer than 5, 12 or more, or 10 or fewer are afraid of heights. So the secret to this CDF is to get your input constant correct. So if we take these and we convert them, now this looks like the probability that x is greater than 9. This one looks like the probability that x is less than 5. Here we want 12 or more, so we know that's the probability that x is greater than or equal to 12. And in this last one, we want 10 or fewer. So we're looking at the probability that x is less than or equal to 10. So let's hop over to Minitab and see how this works. So I'm over here in Minitab, and we'll find these probability distribution functions in this calc menu. And I'm going to go down to probability distributions. And the problem I'm working as an example is a binomial. So what we'll see in the binomial distribution or any of these probability distributions is three options. The probability density function, just when you're looking for a single probability, the cumulative function that we're going to work with now, and then an inverse function. So I had 20 trials, and I had a probability of success of 40%, but I need to understand this input constant. So in the first question that we looked at, we wanted to know what was the probability that more than 9 people were afraid of heights? So it's important to remember that what this function here solves for is the probability that x is less than or equal to your input constant, where this is your input constant. In other words, Minitab solves from whatever your input constant is all the way down to zero um, successes. In this case, we're going the opposite direction of this function, which means I'm actually going to solve for what I don't want, subtract it from 1 to get what I do want. Think of this as having between 20 and 0 successes. So here is my 9, and I want the probability of more than 9. So that means I want from 10 up to 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for 0 through 9 with 9 as my input constant. And I know that this probability plus this probability has to equal 1. So I'm going to find this one, subtract it from 1, and it's going to give me what I'm looking for which is more than 9. So my input constant is going to be 9. I'm going to say OK. And I know I have about a 75.53% probability of there being 9 or fewer people who are afraid of heights. So now I know that 1 minus my 0.7553 is going to give me a probability of about 24.47 percent, and that's going to be the probability that x is greater than 9, because this 75 percent here is the probability that x is less than 9. The next one I looked at was the probability that x is less than 5. Now we're solving in the same direction as the CDF. We just have to decide what our input constant is going to be. Well, again, think of this as between 0 and 20 successes. And here is my 5. So I want the probability of less than 5. So that means what I'm really looking for is the probability of somewhere between 0 and 4 successes. And so I'm going to use my input constant as 4. And because I'm solving for this less than, I don't need to subtract from 1 because I'm going the same direction as this cumulative distribution function.
So we decided on an input constant of 4, since we wanted less than 5, and I say OK. And now I have only about a 5% probability that out of my 20 in my sample, I only have about a 5% probability that fewer than 5 are actually afraid of heights. The next one that I solved for was the probability of 12 or more. And we decided that 12 or more means that I include 12. And so again, think of this between 20 and 0 successes. And so here is my 12. And I want the probability of 12 or more. So this is what I want. Remember, I'm solving in the opposite direction of this CDF, which means I'm going to have to solve for from 0 to 11, and then take this probability minus 1 to give me the probability that I want. All right, so we said that we wanted 12 or more, so I want to eliminate from 0 to 11. So I'm going to use 11 as my input constant, and that's going to give me a probability of 0 0.9434. So recall that I've just solved from 0 to 11, and what I want is from 12 to 20. So I've got to take 1 and subtract that 9434 from it and I end up with a probability of 12 or more, somewhere around 5.66%. Again, because I was looking for the probability that x was greater than or equal to 12, and I was going to the right, and this function goes to the left, I have to subtract 1. The last example I had was the probability that x was less than or equal to 10. And this is the easy one because our direction and what we're solving for in our question is exactly the same thing that the CDF solves for. So if I'm looking for the probability of less than or equal to a value, I'm able to use this as my input constant. So my input constant will be 10. So I'm going to put in my input constant of 10. I'll say OK, and now I know that the probability that 10 or fewer people are afraid of heights is roughly 87.25%. Once you can figure out what your input constant is in that CDF and Minitab, it does all the work for you. So I hope that you found this useful, and thanks so much for watching.